Good evening. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and cherished members of the Trinity Family Community, welcome as to an evening dedicated to an eternal bond of friendship found in the heart of Jesus. Tonight, as we gather the honor of the theme of what we a friend we have in Jesus, within the halls of Trinity Academy, where knowledge meets reverence we pay homage to a divine friendship that transcends earthly bounds. Just as Jesus walked beside his disciples with unwavering love and compassion, so too do we find comfort and strength in his everlasting presence. Tonight, as we immerse ourselves in a symphony of worship and praise, I hope that we spend time reflecting on the profound significance of friendship in our lives. Let each note resonate they have the joy of camaraderie, the solace of companionship, and the reassurance of divine love. So let us unite for the gratitude with the incompar incomparable joy that we have in a friend in Jesus, our ever-present confidant, and our Savior. May this evening be filled with a testament of enduring faith and his friendship to uplift our spirits. May our hearts be stirred, our souls be uplifted, and our bonds of friendship be strengthened as we journey together in his name. Amidst the symphony of spring. To begin this evening, let's bow our head with prayers. Gracious Father, Lord, we praise you for this evening. Lord, I thank you for everyone that is here. I thank you for the hard work of these students and the families and our teachers. Lord, this couldn't be done without you. I thank you that you are the foundation of the school. I pray that as these halls resound with music, that uh, a spiritual melody would go up into your halls. Lord, we thank you. May you be present. May it be a fragrant offering. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'd like to introduce Mrs. Deanna Chatterton and the band. Thank you.
as you can probably notice that only some of the students were playing, and that is uh, because our sixth and seventh graders and the eighth through twelfth meet separately. And so that was our sixth and seventh grade band. So they've just been playing a couple of years. Um, and then we're going to share a song next for you. Um, it'll be eighth through twelfth grade uh, students. And uh, this next one is called Elizabeth and Madrigal.
Okay, that was sixth through the 12th grade. We have one 12th grader. Um, I have awards to give. <laughs> and uh, I'm very, very proud of what they do in a cup meeting a couple times a week. Um, I'm very proud of that. So I wrote some things down so that I don't forget because that's what I will do if I don't write a few things down. Um, the first uh, band award I, I would like to give, my beginner band is not up here yet. Um, let's see if I can, Ava, would you come up and help me? <laughs> if you'll note in, we have some hardware. <laughs> if you'll know in your program, first of all, um, there are some markings beside, first of all, we have all of our students listed, and then there are some markings beside um, certain students for participation, uh, things that they've been involved in this year. And as the years go by, we I'm working um, hard, and we are as a school, to try to find more ways for our students to be involved um, in different activities, whether it's music or uh, sports or art and those kind of things. So you'll see uh, we had um, some really strong participants in several things. All Illinois or Illinois Music Educators Association, all district band and choir, which meet at Western. Um, we had uh, quite a few students that um, auditioned and attended that in the fall. And uh, they are marked on there. And then we also, this year was the first year that we were part of Illinois Grade School Music Association, which they have a junior high or middle school solo and ensemble. So that was the first year our students um, were able to do that. And we had uh, just a really wonderful experience. Uh, that was at Macomb Middle School in the spring. And uh, the students did really, really well and came home with uh, a big pile of awards. So that was really fun. Um, we did have one, uh, a couple students that tried out for a really high honor through that organization, and it's called All Illinois Junior Band. And I like to throw my own kids in the fire first, see what happens. And so <laughs> that's been nice having students here, because I'm like, here, Try that, see what happens. And then um, if it doesn't work out well, they're fine. Uh, so um, they have, it's an all state band for junior high or middle school students. It's actually just seventh and eighth grade. And we had one um, student who uh, worked really hard, auditioned for that um, and participated in that. She made fifth chair out of 12 uh, seventh and eighth graders across the state. And that is Hadessa Chatterton. So give her a um, And then I do want to give out just some of my own um, outside. It's great to get a little bit of outside encouragement, right? Um, and just uh, know that, that we're doing we're doing a good job. But um, I also uh, would like to award some of our students from my own heart, my own time with them, uh, watching how they work and what they do. Um, so last year, I believe I gave out uh, three awards for, this year I'm gonna go ahead and give awards for sixth and seventh grade band um, to a couple students who I feel like need to be recognized. Um, the first one is Emily Dixon. Um, and I'm giving her this award for her commitment to the band program, all the outside work that she does. Um, she learned another instrument this year, saxophone, so she could be prepared a year ahead of time to march. Um, she always does excellent in everything that she does. Uh, and that is And then I also gave 
some in-house awards to our advanced band students, which changes a little bit each year, but this year it is eighth grade through 12th, and I gave one out for brass, one out for woodwinds, and one for percussion. And if I can find my paper. Sorry, preschoolers, you guys are being so good. I bet they're being really good because otherwise you wouldn't be listening to me at all, so. Um, the first one is my percussion award. Um, this is gonna go to Wesley McEwen. And then I'll tell you why. <laughs> Wes is a wonderful leader, um, not just in band, but in school. He sets an excellent example in working hard, um, even if something is not his gifting. Um, he jumps in and does what is needed to help any time, no matter what it is. He takes his personal time to learn what he needs to learn, um, even if it's recess, which that's a big deal for a boy. Um, and he always pays attention and knows what's going on in class. That's why I awarded him that. Uh, my second award goes to my helper, Ava Houston, for Woodwinds. <laughs> and I would like to tell you uh, why. Um, Ava has been the only flute in this older group since she arrived here. Um, this year she has shown tremendous growth as a musician, but she's always tried her best, even when it was a struggle. Um, parts seem overwhelming sometimes for her, but she always works through it and just does the best job that she can. And she's doing a great job. She has a great attitude. Congrats, Ava. And my third in-house award for advanced band is um, my brass award. Now, hopefully my children won't. I have a lot of brass people in my family. So this, <laughs> this brass award is actually gonna go to Anna Mary Chatterton. And I'll tell you why in a second. Um, Anna Mary has been willing to help other people. And that's the biggest thing I see for her. She has um, taken private lessons and gets excited about the things she's learning and she wants to share those techniques with her classmates. Um, I've kind of thrown her in front of, said, hey, would you do this? Would you show the kids this? Um, and she uh, has just shown a lot of personal growth as a musician this year. Um, and I would like, just like to recognize her for that help that she gives. All right, I thank you for, for your patience, and I should have planned this out a little better. I did say I would do this before. Um, I could actually, we can do some more of these uh, later. I just have three more, the biggies. But we'll go ahead and start with the um, preschool, because they're being very patient. So. So welcome our preschool students and kindergarten. <laughs>
John 15, 13. No longer do I call you servants, for servants do not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. John 15, 15. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness and he was called a friend of God. God, James 2, 23.
We will be singing part of our next song in Latin, the words Musica Dei Donum Optum Me means music of God gift in the highest. Oh! 
Thank you, students. That was so well done. It was beautiful. Um, so let's give another hand to our pre-K through four, uh, sixth grade students. Um, at this time, we're going to take a very small, what we're going to call a transition instead of an intermission, just to get, we have so many students doing so many different things to get uh, things moved around. And uh, we're going to get a quick uh, uh, picture from our photographer, Mr. Williamson, of this group. And then the students will sit back down, and at that time we would like uh, parents of preschool and kindergarten kids to pick up their, their children um, for the rest of the program. Um, and we still have uh, fifth be our beginning band students, and we have fifth and sixth grade, and our oldest kids to sing for us, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> and we have some entertainment while you wait. Um, also, while I have you captive, um, I want to say a thank you. Also, make sure that you take the time to look at the, am I in your way? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll be real fast. So make sure you take the time to look at the class projects. Thank you for classroom teachers that went to the work to display that. Um, and also, uh, Mrs. Erin uh, Andreas and all the work she's done this year for art classes and she has put together a display of the students work um, and I believe maybe there's some work for sale is what I heard um, that that will go to the art department that's my understanding I could be wrong so please uh, thank you to those people Sorry.
we're going to start now with a beginning band. This group uh, started playing on recorders last fall, and then they switched over, picked a band instrument in January, December, January. So they haven't played very long, but oh my goodness, they just love competition, and they love uh, all the practicing, and uh, yeah, so they're a very special group. Um, I do want to recognize a couple of the students, even though they've all done a fabulous job. I have a couple practice awards for a couple of them that have gone like way over the top uh, with their competitive spirit. And <laughs> I really, I could say that about to any of you guys, but I have some practice awards for these students. Uh, Claire LaFountain on clarinet. Who passes everything like a month ahead of time. Great job, Claire and Mariah Dixon. So many moving parts and so many kids involved in all the things. So uh, while we wait for them to go to their next event, um, one of the things I thought about this week um, as I was stressing out about things and just thinking about uh, what I what I wanted to have the kids to do here tonight, and I thought, you know, um, the the kids that we have here, they aren't they are all the students in our school. 
they are not, these are just, they are not just the students that have, uh, you know, the 10% that feel like they have a musical gift or, uh, you know, the 25% out that went for choir, okay? They are all required to be involved in music um, for the whole time they are at Trinity, uh, in whatever way that is. And so, um, I guess I just wanted to share that thought with you, and that makes me more proud of what they do because there are a few of them that don't want to be up there. <laughs> um, and But they do it, and, um, and they learn, and they learn new skills, and some of them it's first time they've been on a stage or sang in front of anybody, so they've done a great job. Um, a couple of people I wanted to thank. Uh, one is uh, a teacher here who has uh, helped in whatever way she can. She's a, a big supporter of music. She's a piano teacher um, and asks me if I need anything or anything she can do to help. And this year she accompanied um, quite a few of our soloists that we took to solo and ensemble and worked with them and came for the day and helped us in that way. And I wanted to honor Mrs. Valena Spangler at this time. also don't want to forget a very special person in my life and that uh, is my music assistant and everything she's here every day um, ask me if I need anything I just ask her to copy papers for me whatever and uh, I just I really couldn't do it without her she's been here the whole time I've been here um, and I don't really know what else to say because it's it could be a really long list of ways that she helps me, and I just want to tell Mrs. Amy Watkins, thank you for all the work that she does. Fellow born and raised in New England, won greater popularity as a poet than any other writer of his time, also a distinguished scholar and professor of literature. He was known for his kindness, sincerity, and generosity, especially in his work and love for children. He always seemed to have time to help anyone who needed him. These wonderful traits were also very evident in his writing. He loved music, and his poems are very musical, direct, and easy to read. His first poem, published at age 13, marked the beginning of his early desire to write and his interest in New England history and Indian folklore. On Longfellow's 72nd birthday, the school children of Cambridge gave him a armchair made from the chestnut tree, which he had made famous in the village blacksmith. He was so delighted with that he wrote a poem about it and gave, it to, uh, gave a copy to every child who came to see him. After his death, a bust of Longfellow was placed in Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey, London, England, an honor given to no other American.
us rejoice today, Alleluia. Sing to the Lord, Alleluia. Sing a new song, all the earth. Rejoice! Um, while they transition, uh, a couple other, I like to recognize their achievements, I really do. Um, uh, one student that I forgot with the intermediate band, um, as well as Emily Dixon that I meant to recognize, who also has a commitment to excellence in musicianship and has been a great asset to the band, is Jacob Watkins. He's on his way up.
But, they're, but I get to choose them, so that's kind of cool. Okay, the first award that I have is um, for the John Philip Sousa Award, which can be given to a junior or senior um, who is in band. Um, and this year the award goes to someone who portrays all of the qualities that represent a John Philip Sousa Award awardee. Um, they are always willing to do what is needed, no matter how small or large the task. Um, so, this award goes to Gloria Montine. hardware is on the wall from the last time I forgot to get it down but she does have a certificate here too as well as her name will be on the wall for this year uh, Gloria uh, last year fall organized 
volunteered to organize and the distribution and fitting of all the marching uniforms for band. Um, took that off my hands. I didn't have to worry about it. Made sure everybody checked their stuff back in. Uh, she has also uh, learned a second instrument, uh, the baritone, uh, because we had a need for it. And now is wanting to do the tuba next year. Uh, so she's willing to do whatever needs to be done. And so thank you, Gloria. The next uh, award that I have, I can actually choose two, um, a male and female choir uh, member. It's uh, the National Choir Awards. And this uh, goes to students who exemplify um, loyalty, cooperation, uh, conduct, merit, ability, and achievement, outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program. Um, and this year, uh, let me get my certificates here, and I have hardware, so if there's a photographer present, or we can do it afterwards for awards, um, goes to Mr. Eli Norton. <laughs> And my second choir award goes to um, a female who also exemplifies all those qualities, um, and that award is going to Brenna Chatterton. your plaque. And then there is also another national award, and I really just couldn't not recognize this. Um, this, this actually is called the Chopin Award, okay? And um, it is to recognize someone who has helped the school with excellence in piano skills. And I just don't know what I'm going to do without her next year. Um, but this award is going to go to Brenna Chatterton. And she, um, from the very beginning when she started here, she rolls her eyes sometimes at me. She's like, Mom, don't you know that? But um, she has, uh, every year, um, accompanied, she, a little bit at a time, because she's embarrassed at first, accompanied my classes. Now she does every day. Um, she does recordings. I give her a YouTube video and say, hey, can you make a you know, recording of this? And she'll write that, do that on her computer and get it to me. Um, and so I told her that she's doing that from Nashville next fall for me. So uh, she still has a job. It's just going to be from far away. This is the Chopin Award. Would you please say thank you to Brenna with me? fail to recognize our seniors as well. Uh, two of them are here, um, and our third, Brenna and Eli, uh, who we will miss greatly, and then we also have Miss Emma Taylor. And Emma just brings so much joy to our school and to choir as well. Um, I would say that all the students agree with me that she brings a lot of joy to choir. <laughs> and we will definitely miss her. Uh, so if we could get a picture of the three seniors as well. Um, these are our music students who are gonna be moving on into different career paths of their own. And uh, I will miss them greatly. But we have some younger ones coming up are gonna fill their shoes, so. Thanks, guys.
Thank you. Oh yeah, we were gonna play one more song, weren't we? I'm, I have a couple more people. I want to thank Elizabeth Dixon for helping me this year. She fills in with um, a lot of things, but also she's helped um, with some beginning students who need a little special extra time. So thank you, Elizabeth, for that, Mrs. Dixon. Um, and then for you, some of you that didn't really, I, I want to say thank you to everybody that has uh, supported music here or the, the arts in any way. Uh, some of you are anonymous, okay? I have had um, anonymous, uh, so whoever the anonymous people out there that have given me money, thank you. <laughs> um, but we have uh, anonymous donors and recognized donors um, that have given over the years, and especially this year. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. We had a, a little fundraiser called Blackout My Board, and how much did we raise from that, Amy? Was that 40, 4,900, okay. And so it sounds, it is a lot, and I thank you so much. But this stuff over here is expensive. <laughs> um, so just, I will try to keep you abreast so you know if you did, <coughs> Uh, help us in some way what exactly we were doing with it. Uh, last summer we bought a three and a half octave xylophone, uh, which is wood, it's not a marimba, but a three and a half octave xylophone and it has been a blessing. Uh, Mr. Wesley McEwen was playing on it earlier uh, in a concert. And then we do have plans for that $4,900. Uh, one of them, our first purchase is gonna be a new bass drum. That one uh, is from Avon High School, that's why it's green. You would think it was industry, but it was actually Avon. So it came all the way up here. I think my husband played it, didn't you, honey? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that shows, uh, yeah, paint's wearing off. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll stop talking. I want to make sure to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate everything you all do and, and your kids. So they want to play one more song for you. Uh, the band does. So, you guys can come on down. So, we're going to play our new marching band song. They really don't know it that well yet, but they want to play it anyway because they're so excited. So, um, last fall, we, uh, the 8th through 12th grade students marched in two parades uh, and or your local one here, the uh, Rushville Smiles Day Parade, they uh, won first place uh, again for the second year in a row in small school division. So they did a great job. And the other thing is that we are marching our young people, okay? This next fall we're going to be marching uh, seventh and eighth graders. So they're not just competing against, uh, uh, we're not just putting high school kids out there. We've got a lot of young people and they're doing a great job. So enjoy and thank you so much for being here.
let's give them one more round of applause. If I could have Mrs. Andreas come forward here, we'd like to take time to recognize her, our art teacher, and the displays that she had put up. We're very grateful for the time and the effort and the investment that she's made with our students. Uh, and we would like to say thank you. And so I have a gift here and a card for Mrs. Andreas, please. Woo! We also want to recognize Mrs. Watkins. If you would, would oh, you're right here. If you come up here, <coughs> and Mrs. Chatterton, I got your cards wet, I'm sorry. Um, but we are very grateful for the investment that you give to the school as well as to our students. And so please, let's. let's come to close with prayer, but I want to invite you to our ice cream social. We're going to turn the lights back on. You're welcome to continue to look at the displays, but we would also like to fellowship with you uh, and for you to enjoy the time with your students as they enjoy time with each other. We are very grateful for you to be here, uh, and we are so thankful that the Lord allows us to do these things. This is His school, uh, and what an honor it is to be a part of what God is doing here at Trinity Academy. Let me pray for you, and then we will, uh, we will go to our next ice cream social. So let's pray. Our Father in heaven, you are Lord of all creation, and you are king of the universe. You love us and you care for us. You provide for us. You grant to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And on top of that, your good and perfect promises. And Lord, we are grateful for the opportunities that you give to us to come together to share the gifts and talents you've set within these children, students, these adults. Lord, we are grateful that we're able to come together as one body for the sole purpose of remembering what your word has to say and what your spirit testifies in every day in the relationship you desire with us. May we be reminded of the beauty of that relationship. And Lord, may we continue to praise you with the opportunities been given to us and the responsibilities you've set within our hands. May we honor and exalt and glorify you in everything that we say and do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you all again for being here. You are dismissed. Please enjoy some ice cream.